Hey folks, this is part two of my series on VimWiki and how I use it for productivity needs. Um, in this wiki, in this part, I'm going to talk about the Task Warrior integration that exists with VimWiki and TaskWiki. Um, a brief recap, though, from the stuff that I talked about in my previous video. The stuff that I installed to get this to work, um, I started with Task Warrior, I have NeoVim Nightly, and I have two Python libraries to, that help NeoVim and TaskLib. Um, which help task warrior integration work properly. Uh, and the second part of it is actually uh, part of my NeoVim config file where I added task wiki, WimWiki, and just a plugin for Wim Markdown. And you'll notice that since the first video, I've actually also added a color scheme so it looks a bit nicer. Um, and some other stuff around improving the tabs, setting tabs to two, expanding tabs. Um, using the colors properly, and we'll see how that's necessary when we go back to the last part of this, which is nicer tick boxes. You'll notice that checking and unchecking these boxes, these these are nice Unicode characters now instead of the the default, which is this uh, this square brackets. And I, I feel like these are really nice. And uh, I'll show you how to do these at the end of the video. Okay, so. I've already installed stuff. Um, I have already gone over my VimRC, and oops, I actually need to find a Unicode character that represents the partial completion better, but um, we'll get into that later. The final thing is the VimWiki itself and MDWiki, and a quick recap. Um, basically, I have this VimWiki that I started in the previous uh, in the previous video, and I added a screencast page where I'm going to add the stuff that I'm going to talk about during the screencast to this page. Um, I actually have it in my own WimWiki, but for the test WimWiki, I wanted you guys to see how really WimWiki can be used for all of your note-taking needs. So also the MD Wiki itself, which works just fine. Um, it contains everything, and you'll see that it automatically created um, a table of contents. Once you get more than one or two headings, it will auto-create a table of contents for you. Um, and that's it for the recap. So. Let's get into Task Warrior. So let's talk about Task Warrior usage. So after you've installed Task Warrior, you can type in task to see your current tasks. And you can type task add, and I can say, um, get my gro go to the grocery store. And it'll create a task. And next time I create type task, it'll show me the task with an ID, an age, and a description. And you can type other tasks. You can add um, test task, and it'll create another task. And you can actually add tags to tasks. So I can do plus home, and this is pay my bills. And in this way, task three will be tagged with home. So next time I type in this task, you can see that task three actually has a tag associated with it. And we'll be using tags and projects when we talk about the WimWiki integration. But um, the fourth thing we can do with tasks is you can do task uh, done one. So it'll mark the task one as done. So next time it won't show up here, but it will be marked as done and it will be stored as a done task. If you don't want to actually have it be even in your done st statements because it ends up being used for report generation, you can actually delete a task as well. So um, yes, so this time tasks are deleted. You'll notice one thing that the ID is actually updated every time other tasks shift, so you don't want to focus on the ID so much as the task itself um, at the current moment. Um, so, um, projects. Another thing you can do with tasks is you can associate them with a project. So you can do task um, project, this is project x, add, um, I don't know if I have to add the add first, um, do x, y, z. Yes, so what happened is it the project it created a project and it added the task to the project. And projects allow you for easier tracking because uh, as part of Task Warrior summarization and report features, it'll show you what percentage of your project is done. So projects are nice in that way as well. So you can see that task do x, y, z is part of this project. This task is part of this tag. Um, I, I would suggest using tags for the most part until you actually do need to use them for projects, but tags do accomplish. And you can also have multiple tags, so you can do task add um, plus home plus bills. I'm going to say phone bill, right? So 
you can see that this task now has multiple tags associated with it. All right, let's get into the... You can also then search for tags by projects or tasks. You can do task plus home, and it'll show me all home tasks. You can do task project project x, and it'll show me the project tasks. And Task Warrior also has a bunch of other features. Oops, I guess dash, dash help doesn't work. But Task Warrior does have a bunch of features that I suggest you read into by just Googling for Task Warrior and looking through their documentation. They have some really cool features around, especially around summarization and reports, um, which show really nice, which can generate really nice reports based on whatever it is you're interested in. It's a, it's a very complex tool and it has a lot of features. But for the most part, for our sake, we're just going to be focusing on basic task warrior and MemWiki integration, which is honestly sufficient for most people's needs. So how do we start using task warrior inside MemWiki? So that's where the task wiki plugin comes in. And we've already enabled it as we've seen in our Vim configuration. Um, you can see task wiki here. So it's already installed and it's actually already enabled and it will take care of any tasks that start with the asterisk. Um, so if we create a task here um, inside the wiki and we convert it to a task, to convert it to a to-do item by con hitting control space, save it. And if we check out task now, you can see that it actually shows up here. So test task inside test wiki. And if you mark it as done, it will not show up and mark it as undone, it'll start showing up again. So you can see that actually um, Task Warrior will reflect the state of this task itself um, as we change it to its state inside VimWiki. And actually, because of all the other features that Task Warrior provides, you can actually edit the task itself by doing slash TE. And this will open a Vim window where you can add a project, you can actually add schedules, you can add due dates, you can add until, recur, parent tasks. Um, and this is all great, but uh, this is actually not how we're going to be editing the tasks the majority of the time, because I don't want to have to go into a task and edit it to add tags every time. And that's where, oops, I guess it is. That's where another option comes in, which is called viewports. So what you can do is you can create a heading and I can say, these are my home tasks. And actually, I can do use the use the straight line, and I can actually add the tag here. And what Task Wiki will do is it'll populate it with all the home tasks. So actually, because I already had tasks in my Task Warrior instance with the home tag associated with them, um, sorry, task plus home. You can see that both of these tags, both of these tasks, actually showed up here. And let's say I mark pay my bills as done, even though phone bill should technically be part of this. But let's say I mark this as done. The same task plus home no longer shows this. So the, the viewport actually is hidden in normal mode, and in insert mode you can see the viewport itself. Um, and in insert mode, you can actually see that each task actually has an associated unique ID associated with them as well. Um, you don't want to delete this because this is what Task Wiki uses to um, to interact or to link them with the Task Warrior tasks. But what happens if we create another task here? So um, let's say I want to get milk, um, and I save it. Will this show up here? And it does with the proper tag associated. So you'll see that it actually has we have a task here for get milk with the home tag associated. So viewports let you actually use um, use Task Warrior with tags, and they're they're a really nice feature. So I can do actually, what if I don't want to show the pending or like um, only the completed task? So I can just do a pend plus pending, and this is something that's already appended to all pending tasks, and it'll get rid of all the done tasks. So if I don't want to see the done task, I can add past that. If I do want to see the done task, I can get rid of that. And this is a great way that Task Warrior um, actually integrates with VimWiki. We can actually create viewports for projects as well. So let's say work projects. Um, so I can do project A, B, C, and let me create a task here. And I'm going to call it um, learn my ABCs. 
that's an important part of the project. Um, what happens here if you take a look at the task? You'll see that Learn My ABCs was created under the project ABC. So it works flawlessly. Now here's the cool part though, um, because WimWiki has a very hierarchical way of managing our pages and your entire thing is going to be distributed, your entire knowledge base is going to be distributed all over your WimWiki. So um, let's say I'm entering, let's say I'm on my diary page for the day. Okay, let's say it's 1225, right? So I'm on my diary page for the day and I just want to add a task here. I just want to say, um, let's say, let's say I'm doing my diary for the day. And I was like, I ended up doing stuff, I'm start writing stuff, and I'm like, oh shit, I should actually also um, talk to talk to XYZ. Right? I want to make sure that this is a task that's tracked somewhere. Um, I can just save this as is and it'll show up in my tasks here. And but maybe I'm using the getting things done philosophy and I want to tag it with something. I don't want to create a viewport here because it's just a singular task. I can just do slash te. I can go to tags, and what I can do tags, and I can add here a tag called inbox, and I can save it and exit it, and now this has the inbox tag associated with it. You can see that the inbox tag was successfully associated with this thing. Um, so the real benefit here is I can go to my work thing and maybe in project Y, maybe I also have all my tasks for project Y, tasks for project Y, but maybe I also want to tag all my tasks for project Y with a work tag as well so I can see all my work tasks in the same place. So I can do plus work, I can do, um, sorry, project Y, right? So I'll create a task here saying do stuff for project Y. And this will show up with the task work, with a tag work and under project Y. And maybe I can do the same for other projects. And I can, if I just want to see all my work tasks, I can just do a task plus work. And it'll show me all the work tasks across all projects. And this is how a really great way how WimWiki integrates with Task Warrior and really you end up, you don't have to manually model or mutate tasks so much because you just put them under the viewports wherever they make sense and they'll automatically be have the right tags and the right projects associated with them and it's a great way to manage all your tasks across your entire WimWiki which will grow to a very large size. Okay, so we've covered task wiki tasks and we've covered tags and projects. So the final thing to talk about is these nicer tick boxes. And you'll notice that they show up in under the the dash based tasks, but not the not the tasks that are associated with task warrior. And I'll get into why that is in a bit, but let's see first how we can get these nicer tick boxes here in the first place. So we use a feature of Vim called Vim conceal and you can do that um, by setting a syntax preference as part of uh, the... So WimWiki files have a uh, file type or like syntax file type called WimWiki. So you can edit this and you can go in config and Vim um, after, and this happens after the file is loaded and syntax and there's a WimWiki.Vim file. And in here we basically do a regex match on any of these forms and we replace the character on the final character minus two so like the last three characters and we replace them with a single character which is the regular star and uh, the regular checkbox and the check checkbox and that works for us here for our regular tasks and it should work for the Wimwiki, the task warrior task as well um, but it doesn't mostly because of how task wiki also uses um, a similar form of conceal for their own um, purposes. I haven't actually figured out how to make this work yet, but I will provide an update if I do. Um, and that's that's it for it. That's it for uh, this video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like the video.